Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a review on the Head Auxetic Radical MP. I've been loving playing with this racket. Uh, it's just been a complete joy to play with recently. Yeah, it's one of the rackets that I'm very potentially going to be switching to. So on ground strokes, I found this racket to be very stable playing, even at the low weight that it's at, but I also found it to be like a great option for a platform racket. Uh, I think you could definitely take weight in this racket and it would play unbelievably well. Backhands and forehands are shooting off really fast and it's really not too big of a difference compared to the uh, lax generation mp but what it did do and i know a lot of people have said this already about auxetic is it kind of like feels like it made the uh, feel a little bit better like the connection to the ball is a bit better almost a little bit stiffer but i had plenty of access to free power and free spin and just like the uh, auxetic extreme with the sound grommets um this thing is super loud it's really interesting i, I almost sometimes was questioning whether or not like I was actually hitting that hard, or if it was like a placebo from uh, the grommets, like just just being so extremely loud. Um, it's a weird thing. Again, you gotta play with some of these uh, head rackets if you haven't before. Uh, that uh, sound grommet thing is very strange, and it it does make me feel like I am uh, crushing the ball, like I'm a Matteo Berrettini or or you know just anybody who hits ridiculously big. But a lot of fun. I can imagine on an indoor court it would be ridiculously loud, but. Uh, yeah, it, it is a fun racket and you know for me like this racket is just like an awesome uh, Jack-of-all-trades racket like it really never did anything uh, super weird or wrong or anything like that on volleys It was really crisp. Uh, it kind of just was very point-and-shoot. I had some good power uh, I didn't feel like I had to really step in a ton on my volleys I could just put the racket right behind the ball and everything seemed to work out just fine um, but yeah, it's you know the the touch is good, the power is good. It, there's nothing really lacking. It's it's kind of like it, it's weird to say, but you know the uh, the marketing behind this racket was like, oh, this is the people's racket. At least uh, last year they really heavily marketed that, or last generation, uh, and and it really is. I, I don't think there's really anything offensive about this racket whatsoever. I think a, a really big group of players could play with this Radical MP and it shows like this is exactly why I, see, I saw the last generation so much on the ITF tour. Um, overheads offered like really good access to pop. I didn't have to hit extremely hard and the thing was just flying like a rocket ship. It was super good for overheads and you know I could carve them if I wanted to. I could kick them and actually at the beginning this racket had a, a hybrid in it I'm um, changed out to full poly, but I, it was interesting. I could play with a uh, with a hybrid, and I haven't played with a hybrid uh, since before college. And the hybrid felt really good. Um, maybe I should just try hybrids. Maybe it's not just the racket, but anyway, serves same thing as the overheads. Unbelievable access to pop. I was crushing serves. I felt like I had pretty good access to spin on the slice serves and and kick serves. Felt like it was a decent amount of spin as well. Maybe not as much spin as like the the extreme, which it's not supposed to. You know, it's kind of uh, not targeted as a spin racket, but a good amount of spin nonetheless, and uh, it was something that I felt like I could be creative with and not have to like, you know, just bomb serves all the time. I could be a little bit more pinpoint, and, and that actually was something nice. It was a surprising amount of control. Uh, I felt like I was able to hit spots really well, and then like when I wanted to up the pace, the power was there. It was ready to go for me. So I'm really curious to see like well, what this racket would play like with just a little bit of weight here and there, uh, especially if I balance it properly, unlike the last one that I did. But uh, yeah, this, this racket was just awesome. And uh, I'll be honest, I think Head really knocked it out of the park here. The racket plays unbelievably well. It's one of my top contenders for a Switch right now. It does pretty much everything you want to do and it doesn't really have, I can't find like faults in it, which is really cool. It's a nice thing, you know. Of course, all you could really ask for a racket now isn't necessarily gonna be like, the most powerful power racket? Is it gonna be the spinniest racket or is it gonna be the most controlled racket? No, it's not really. It's, it's kind of that jack of all trades and I appreciate that from Head and I think a lot of people could appreciate that as well who don't necessarily, necessarily want to play with just a power monster like a pure drive or a spin monster like the old generation arrow. This racket will satisfy a lot of players' needs and I think if you're looking for a racket and you're not exactly sure what you're looking for, you should really try this racket and just hit with it and see like, oh, do I want more spin? Then you can go to like the extreme line. Or it's like, oh, I want more power? Well, maybe try a, a pure drive or, or try something else from another uh, racket brand. But you know, it's a good opportunity to just test a racket that's just like neutral. And then you can build from there and see exactly what you like. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, we got another reviews coming out the rest of this week. I got a lot of demos that came in. So uh, stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.